Hi guys, CSC here. Welcome back to another edition of Horse Racing Preview. <laughs> guys, this week's feature comes to us from Oakland, so that must only mean one thing. Yep, it of course is time for the Rebel Stakes. <laughs> guys, this is, let's see, race 11 from Oakland. It is, excuse me, it is set for a mile and 16 on the main track. Of course, it's restricted to three-year-olds. And it carries a big old purse of 120, let me try that again, a big old purse of $1,250,000. So, let's get started right away. And you guys, huh, I am liking Dematic to win this one. Now, I've said this before, and I will say it again. If anyone can beat old Timberlake out there, it's going to be Dematic. Guys, seriously, I just love his last trip for several reasons. Not only did he have a seemingly perfect closing trip, coming from seven down to advance through that race in perfect intervals and winning by the race by three, all right, the race was also at Oakland. <laughs> And even the time before that, he tried to close, but he can only muster up third, which is totally fine. Um, you know, still not bad. But, and he didn't even lose by that much either, I might mention. So, I mean, he's got Tyler Gaffleoni up. What's not to like with this one, you guys? Hmm. <laughs> so, I'm taking Dematic on top on Saturday. So, moving right along, I am liking Just Steel to finish second. Now, this horse is another pick that I feel can pull off a very mild upset. Alright, he's just a tremendous stalker, usually hanging around fourth or fifth till it's time to move. Alright, and then usually he's getting, he's usually getting in the money for you. Um, but seriously guys, the only thing I wonder about Just Feel is the distance. Yeah, you know, obviously he can easily hang with two turns, that's not a problem. He's gotten in the money in two turns. That's not a problem. But if you're going to try and get this horse to get in the winner's circle with two turns, then you better try again. Because he's only, his only two victories have been at six furlongs. Alright. I mean, I could be wrong like I always say, but I'm just thinking maybe there's something about a little bit longer races that can't quite find that winner's circle. We'll just have to wait and see. So, just feel finishing second. Round out your top three, I'm liking Timberlake. <laughs> he probably and obviously looks like the one to be on paper. You know, he finished fourth in the Breeders' Cup last time out, and of course that's not bad. But the only thing I just wonder about the little pass of time between November and now. And I'm mentioning this because. He's never gone more than a month, maybe a month and a half at the most, in between races. Alright. Now, so I, I'm just wondering, you know, is, is this layoff or is a little pack of time going to be too much? I mean, and plus also, you guys, he has his jockey up. So, I'm going to say the same thing I said about Just Feel. The same thing I'm going to say also about Timberlake. We'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> so Timberlake finishing third for you on Saturday. And of course that can only mean your JC upset special. Oh, my page went away, hold on. <laughs> your JC upset special. The wood court. Guys, I've said before and I will say it again. If you like what you see and I know what you do, please click subscribe, please ring my bell so you never ever miss a video on you guys. Pass my video down the street to someone else who's going to like, click, and ring so they never miss a video. And you guys, uh, Facebook, Instagram, facebook.com slash JC's Horse Racing Preview. And I will catch you next week. Bye.